Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella today is rolling out a new app called Gig Jam. Harry McCracken is technology editor for Fast Company and joins us to explain all of this. Welcome to you, Harry McCracken. Great to be here. All right, now what is Gig Jam exactly? Gig Jam is really a, a kind of a new idea. It's a, a tool that works not just on Windows PCs, but also Macs and iPhones and iPads and Android devices. And it lets you grab essentially business information, which could be emails or calendar information or something from Office 365 or something from a business tool like SAP or Microsoft Dynamics. You can grab it within Gig Jam. You, you can use Cortana to speak, to retrieve information. Then you can package up little bits of the information you grabbed and send it to your colleagues as, as mini apps, Microsoft calls them. And you can, ask, you can just so, send something to somebody as an FYI. You can ask them for feedback on it. You can add audio notes and text notes, or you could delegate something entirely to another person. So it's, it's essentially a new way of thinking about collaborative work. So Harry, does everybody who's receiving and giving this information have to be using Gig Jam? Do they have to use Cortana? Is this Cortana for business? Or is it um, an entirely different platform that just happens to use Cortana as an interface? Cortana is sort of an interface for this. You can kind of get started by using Cortana to, to pull information from your various business sources inside your business. And yes, everybody needs to be a Gig Jam client. And there are going to be ones for Windows and OS X and iOS and Android. Um, and Microsoft says, by the way, that it's soon, but they don't say exactly when, and they aren't talking about printing yet. So Harry, I can't tell whether this reminds me of Lotus Notes or Google Wave or something else, but I'm trying to picture how this would actually work. So just a, a simple example would be you have a Word doc, I want your feedback. So I capture a paragraph, ask your feedback. How do I receive your feedback? Is it in a central location? Does it come via email? How does that work exactly? Well, the examples which Microsoft talked about with me are a little bit more sophisticated than something like editing a Word document. One of them is if somebody is inspecting an aircraft, they have this very long list of extremely important steps they need to go through, and they could use Gig Jam to, to take a, a specific step and seek feedback from a colleague who, who might be somebody right there at the aircraft, or they might be somebody somewhere else in the world. They could also delegate certain tasks from that, and essentially everybody would be working inside Gig Jam. So uh, you would send specific tasks to them. It could be either one task or several tasks. They'd be they would get a notification on their device. Um, they would pull up those tasks within Gig Jam. And the thing that makes us different from something like Notes or Wave is you're not just talking about the work. You're act you can actually do the work. You can, you can package up specific steps from your aircraft inspection app and send those. Um, so it's, in a way, it's, it's kind of taking out the, the talking about something, part of collaboration, and actually just letting you do the work with inside Gig Jam. Very interesting. Uh, for everybody who's interested in this, and I think that everybody in business really needs to get on this right away because it's brand new information, go to fastcompany.com and read Harry's article on this. There are lots of details there that you need to know about. And of course, I imagine we'll be hearing more about this as it, as it comes out. As Harry reported, uh, we don't know when Gig Jam will ship. Microsoft said, quote unquote, soon. So we don't know what that means. But uh, this is uh, going to be coming out at some point in our future. And everybody who's in uh, who uses Microsoft products for business, and even people who don't, this actually supports uh, uh, operating systems outside of Microsoft, can also take advantage of this. Harry McCracken is at fastcompany.com, technologizer.com, and you can follow him on Twitter at Harry McCracken. Harry, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Mike.